Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. Today is a follow up video to that 3 plus 2 planes video. This one will be all about creating a stock model. So, here we go. Here is the part, and it has holes on those angled faces. We set the planes up in the last video, so if you want to see how to do that, go back in the video. So, let's select the whole thing, and we're going to move it to the level. Actually, we're going to copy it. We'll move it to the stock model level. Now, click on stock model. And what we want to do is we want to fill in those holes. So we just click extrude. Now we're going to let the computer load for a second. So we're just going to select those holes. That's not working. So what we're going to do is just create some wireframe and try to redo that. So wireframe, curve all edges. This will put wireframe on all the edges of the solid. So now that we got wireframe, we're going to go back to extrude. And we're just going to select all those holes. Because these are the only holes we're machining on this part. It's kind of like a rework. And we want to extrude them down, but not through the part, just enough to cover. Point six five is good. Click the check. Next, we want to conjoin the solid, so we'll click on Boolean. Click the main body. Right click in that box. Click on Add. Then one by one, select what we just extruded. Click the check. Click the check again. And now you have one solid body. This will act as our stock model. And to create one, we'll right click in our toolpaths, go to mill toolpaths, and then go down to stock model. Now, go up to model, click on the arrow, and simply just click on that solid we just made. Now, name it, you can name it whatever you want. So we'll just call it add threaded holes. And it'll be on the top plane. So there it is. There is our stock model. So we can turn it on and off. It's turned on, those holes are filled in. 
and we're going to use this as a guide to see if we're making our threaded holes correctly. Otherwise, how else would we verify it? So later when we click on verify, this is the stock that will show up instead of like a bounding box. So if you're interested to see how that turns out, watch our next video and subscribe for more.